is the fear of god essentials dark oatmeal hoodie worth it in this video we're gonna figure that one out hey everybody i'm actors and welcome back to the only channel on youtube that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear and today i'm bringing you this hoodie you guys absolutely enjoyed the light oatmeal hoodie so i might as well go ahead and review the dark oatmeal hoodie for you guys so before we get into the review be sure to like and share for that youtube algorithm as well as subscribe any support would just be awesome now let's get right into this review first off i want to start by talking about the bag of this hoodie this is a really nice bag i really like how fear got a sense just kind of give you this premium plastic this uh dark translucent you know thick bag with fear of god on the front Yep, right there, Essentials, Fear of God, and uh, this bag comes from Sense, or Essence, or however you guys like to call it. This bag has kind of like the Ziploc bag going on here, so uh, zipping it off, removing that hoodie, and whoo, crap, I forgot what size I got for this guy, but uh, as always, these things are absolutely massive, so I'm gonna go ahead and sling it over my shoulder. So here is the Fear of God Essentials Dark Oatmeal Hoodie. So essentially, same style as a light oatmeal hoodie, just darker. So if you guys wanted a kind of like a heather gray Fear of God Essentials hoodie, I think this one might be your buy. Some background information about this hoodie. This hoodie came out, what was the time again? Uh, November 16th of last year, 2022 with the retail price of $90. Since then, obviously it's sold out, so let's go determine whether this thing is worth the resale price. So this hood is completely covered in this gray, but it's not quite a gray. It's kind of a mixture of a whole bunch of other colors that kind of make it gray. It seems like it has a little bit of beige in there actually, white and black, all kind of sprout together to make this hoodie. Kind of like a bowl of oatmeal, basically. On the front of the hoodie, we have a little logo on the top left on this hoodie. It says, Essential Fear of God. And this hoodie is kind of like pasted on with a piece of fabric. Pieces of fabric, I should say, all stamped together to form this logo. Also, rumoredly, I've been hearing a lot of problems with this fabric. You know, if you don't wash this hoodie correctly, this tends to peel. Has not happened to me yet, but I don't really wear these hoodies for that much long. Also, in the front of this hoodie, we have a nice little pouch to hide all your little goodies in. Nicely stitched on. One thing that is a trademark of these Essentials Fear God hoodies is the nice stitching. Right here, we have a nice seam more seams going across the ends here and at the bottom there's a nice seam that kind of loops around the entire hoodie we also see nice stitching on the arms of the hoodie right here look at that beautiful seam on the right left arm at the end of these arms we do have a nice little stretchy bit that kind of holds your arms in place there's also a nice stretchy portion on the bottom that kind of hugs you this hoodie also features of course a hood once again nicely stitched on with that seam there's also another stitched seam going across the back to kind of give the hood some structures and then on the top of the hoodie ah my biggest gripe with these hoodies it's this little plastic tab right here that reads out Fear God Essentials. But as you can see, it's upside down. So when you have the hoodie on, it's upside down. But when we take it off, it's right side up. So I don't know which way is the correct way, but this is how they did it. One thing I really like about this hoodie coming to the back is the back is not plain. Not at all. There's actually huge Essentials Fear of God logo on the back of here once again kind of stamped on with those pieces of fabric just really big pieces of fabric this time around yeah i really dig this because it's just a really great reminder that you're wearing essentials for your god but um yeah that about rents off the styling for this hoodie now i'm going to go over some quick tags there's one tag on the outside on the hoodie that's kind of roped says essentials fear god on a little cardboard tab and then a little plastic tab that reads out men don't worry women can style this hoodie really nice too then on the inside we also get a nice then on the inside we have a couple more tags right there another essentials fear god tag with a sizing tag this is a size medium and this hoodie is made in china and there's also a little stock x tag right there to show you guys where i got this hoodie also on the inside of the hoodie it's really nice to note that it has real premium cotton on the inside 
it feels really soft and when you put these hoodies on it does feel really warm just goes to show that these hoodies are no joke they are actually pretty premium then lastly on the bottom of this hoodie there's another tag that's also for sizing tells you that this hoodie is made with 80 percent cotton 20 cent percent uh 20 percent polyester excuse me and then on the other side we have instructions on how to properly wash this hoodie see my gripe with this hoodie is i feel like the letter peeling is because people are not washing this hoodie correctly i think they just kind of throw it in the washer and it's not what you're supposed to do with these hoodies actually you're supposed to hand wash with light colors only non chlorine bleach when needed flat dry do not iron. but of course i think everybody's going to ignore that and just throw this in the washer and i think that's what's causing the letter peeling for this hoodie but alrighty now i'm going to put on this hoodie to show you what it looks looks like on body already this time i'm kind of a pro putting on these hoodies it can be a little difficult at first because these hoodies are a bit massive and bam there we are so here's what the hoodie looks like on the front while you have it on yourself don't know why i'm talking like this while i show you the on body but i am so yeah so first impressions this hoodie is feels really snug and everything so sizing wise i'm about 5 10 166 pounds last time i weighed myself and this is a size medium and honestly it doesn't fit that bad you know it, it definitely is pretty big but I'm used to it now and I am kind of digging the oversized look of the city but not everybody is like that so if you're afraid that you may not fit this hoodie I would size down so if you're medium go small large go medium extra large go large all right now this is what the hoodie looks like with the hood on just so you guys can kind of see that how the hood looks looks really really nice and now I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what the hoodie looks like from behind so you guys can see that big ass logo yeah this hoodie looks really good from behind too I really like it and here's what the hoodie looks like with the hood on from behind kind of scrunched down so you guys can kind of see looks really dope no complaints here really just kind of clean hoodie but yeah turning back around and um yeah so styling tips I'm wearing a pair of black jeans I feel like that complements this hoodie pretty well uh you can experiment a little bit you know try washed out jeans or it's or something like that you know i did try to experiment with white jeans looks god awful but you guys might dig it well yeah i feel like black jeans are the way to go for the essentials hoodies uh shoe wise uh i would go with maybe some yeezy slides easy foam runners or jordan ones or nike dunks those are my shoe recommendations for this hoodie and obviously i would try to go with more light tone colors so I'll go with some gray shoes black shoes white shoes you know sudden neutral yeah that about wraps up the on body portion of this video ready taking off this hoodie and slinging it back around time to give you my final verdict of this hoodie on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give this hoodie a eight out of ten it's a great hoodie definitely not my favorite i think i actually prefer the light oatmeal hoodie over this one just because, I don't know, this one seems a little bit more basic, I would say. But the quality is still there, like always, and the styling is pretty neat on this hoodie. So is this hoodie worth it? I would say yeah. I mean, not as worth it as some of the other Essentials Fear of God hoodies, but right now, they're not really that expensive. The low $100 range, and I would buy it before prices start to go even higher. And it's overall a really nice and premium hoodie. So lastly, I'm going to round off about talking about the future of this hoodie, where this hoodie's heading. Uh, if the fear of God trend still continues, I can see the prices of this hoodie go up. And they're already starting to creep up a little bit. Currently on StockX, this uh, hoodie's going right about for retail. Low $100 range. And it's starting to creep up to maybe the $130 to mid $100. So yeah, if it continues, prices will go up. Maybe in the high $100 range. Maybe even $200. Who knows? but yeah that's what i feel like is happening right now with this hoodie. and uh that really all needs to be said so the fear of god essentials dark oatmeal hoodie what'd you guys think about it comment down below your opinion like and share for that youtube algorithm and last but certainly not least subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video